Uh, one of the best, best pieces of advice I got in college was to not waste my time. You know, like make, make, basically make the most of the opportunity that I was given um, and not make excuses. Because as an undergrad, especially that first semester, I had lots of excuses, lots of reasons that I wasn't doing the best or getting my assignments done. And um, once that professor got that through to me and it stuck, then I used that throughout from undergrad to grad and throughout. So that was great. If time and money was not an issue, I would open a restaurant. Uh, cooking is my hobby. You could tell I like to eat. Uh, but I like to cook. It's a good way to entertain, get you know family and other fam family and friends involved, get them together, and it's also like a way to express my cultural awareness and cultural diversity, and you know share that with other people and get them culturally aware. So I, I like to open up a restaurant. Oh, just to name one would be hard because I am a USF alum, so. I would say one of my favorite memories, one of my professors, um, I took her roses that I had grown myself, um, but I didn't realize I need to take the thorns off. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, so it was just like, hey, this is a nice gesture, this is a nice thought, but you know, you need to take the thorns off. And then she got in a, you know, another discussion about just like looking at the details of things I'm doing in life. like. Hey, you might have good intentions, but you know, the details. So I'll, I'll never forget that. Yeah, it's a small thing. They might not know that I used to be pretty athletic. Uh, I mean, I, I know I'm an old man nowadays, but you know, I used to be really athletic. Um, and being from New York, I grew up loving Florida. So they might know I'm not from here, but I grew up loving Florida and loving Florida sports, want to be an athlete in, in Florida. So that's what I've always wanted. But instead of an athlete, now I'm an academic. I like Charles Darwin's Origin of the Species, uh, just because it, it's one of those things that really made me think about the world. And from a scientific perspective, you know, I read it just as just to read it but now that I'm a, again now that I'm an academic I I see that you know how much that book applies to the world and and how it changes I don't know the most interesting but the best place that I've been is Seattle Washington I've been there a couple of times I absolutely love the people I love the weather I love the food, I love the culture. Seattle, Washington is a really nice place. Growing up, I looked up to both my parents and my siblings, really, you know, uh, especially my one brother, he's in the military. He jumped out of planes for 20 years, you know, airborne, so him and my parents, because they, they grew up, you know, not, you know, pretty poor in Florida, but they, increase their social status a little bit and so you know and they instilled a hard working work ethic into me so I'd say my, my parents and my siblings you know we're pretty close. I would name my boat Miller Time because I just family name great nickname people in you know when you say Miller Time people think of those commercials like oh that's gonna be a a fun, fun experience, so I'd go at Miller Time. Partly with the beer, but also when I was a swim coach, when I had to get to the pool, my swimmers would go, it's Miller Time, so it was always, I like it. There was actually only one that I didn't take. It was uh, logic and philosophy. Um, I needed it for a minor. They didn't offer it at the time, um, but you know, pH, for PhD stands for philosophy, so I'm really into philosophy, so that's definitely one class I wish I had. 
A, being back, you know, as an alum, it's just a really special place for me uh, to see the next generation of USF alum and, and professionals. I mean, like, this was just really a dream, so it's a really special place for me, so I'm just super happy being here.